Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's card is this one. This is new, using the new Feels Like Frost suite, which I'm sure you've probably seen quite a lot of about on the internet. It's just gorgeous. I think what's the big seller is the designer series paper, which is just sublime. It's all silver on one side. So you've got silver, um, whatever those are called, mini versions of that. We've got stripes, we've got snowflakes, sprigs, more sprigs, more snowflakes, more sprigs. It's just stunning on the silvery side. And then the other side is the photorealistic papers, which are just incredible. They really are beautiful. This is the one I'm going to use this time round. Aren't they just incredible? Is that one of them? just divine and they're six by six which is really good for card making but you've seen me make them bigger for bags um, but I would probably if I was going to be using this on a bag project or a gift box project I'd make the box in cardstock and then put the pattern papers over the top just beautiful oh I hadn't spotted this one just gorgeous amazing and then this is the one I've had on this card here really 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 beautiful and one of the girls in my team actually she used the new um mini curvy keepsakes uh box die she used that and she turned these into them just gorgeous okay so what i want to do is my stamp paint oh i haven't got a bit of, have I got a bit of whisper white? yes i have i've got some whisper white handy because um oh i forgot to get the stamp set out oh always useful frosted foliage there it is I got the dies, forgot to get the stamps. Because what I want to do is I want to get this stamped first because I'm going to be putting, we've got glittery crystal effects this year. And I want to get the glue on there and have it dry before I, you know, before I finally assemble it. So I'm just stamping this. Oh, I'm going to have to take a guess as to where it's going to fit because I'm going to die cut it afterwards blueberry bushel and I'm going to get this out so it's the glitter the shimmery crystal effects and it's a little tube haven't used crystal effects in years uh, I'm a real stamping up purist so I'm going to blob that on so yeah I if, if stamping up doesn't have it I don't need it so I haven't it's been a long time since I've used crystal effects but I want to get that on and drying while I'm doing the rest of the card. I don't know that it will be completely dry. It might. But we'll, we'll hope. Okay, so it's lovely. The whole, the suite is just amazing. There's all sorts in it. You've got papers, you've got stamps, you've got dyes, the crystal effects, there's ribbon. Um, there's a glitter in there. I can't remember what else is in there. What else is there? Yeah, there's a, a glitter. Yeah, the glitter. Ice stamping glitter. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of those sweets which I think is going to sweep the internet and take crafting world by storm, I reckon. This is thicker than I remember it being. Mind you, it might be because it's got the glittery stuff in it. So I feel like I'm using a hot glue gun almost to try and break the tail of the glue. There we go. So, let me just chop that off. And pop that to one side. So, I'm going to have to put it right out of the way because I'm bringing in my big shot now. Over the other side of the table, let's try and remember not to put close the catalogue on it. So what I've got now, <clears throat> I've got my big shot, I've got some spare of the balmy blue which is the colour I'm going to have in the bottom. So I've got clear plate, uh, sorry I've got magnetic platform, clear plate, card stock and then this is called foliage frames and so we've got this incredible frame shape and then we've got snowflakes there's another frame inside which I'm going to die cut shortly and then some other foliage pieces 
so I want to run this through. Now I know how temperamental, <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it, how temperamental my big shot is. So I've got a double layer of cardstock to go on top to act like a shim because otherwise it does not want to cut out. Roll on our big new die cutting machine when we get it. I can't wait. But by doing that, it's meant... Oh, it's almost cut out. See, look, I told you it was temperamental. <sighs> Didn't want to cut that last bit. How frustrating. Go back backwards and forwards for a bit and hope that it's now cut out. Oh, it has now. <laughs> Told it who's boss. Okay, so there's my frame, and then I really hope that's going to dry. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to smush glue everywhere, aren't I? Um, there's a the clear plate again. Oh. And I'm going to do the same again, get my shim on. Sharp and send in my grid paper everywhere. Well, that's definitely cut out. There's one of them. Oh, it's, cut, <laughs> it's cut out so well it stuck itself. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. There we go. So there's one. And... Let's pop the other one out. And then I want a couple more of those, but I can know more. Let's turn over to a slightly flatter side. Quite possibly should have die cut. I'm thinking about it as I'm doing this. Probably should have die cut the white piece before I put the glue on and the stamping, shouldn't I? <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think about that, thinking about, oh, I've got to get it dry, forgetting that I actually had to die cut it as well. Oh, you can't make this stuff up really, can you? Okay. Oh dear. Anybody else do things like that? No, just me. I'm going to, I'm going to give it some drying time. Oh, just drop that on the floor and I'm just very quickly going to pop these bits out of here. And then all these beautifully detailed bits here. It's just such a gorgeous frame though. It really is lovely. And oh, look, you know I've got a brushy thing on the end of this. Although I haven't got the mat to stick it onto, that's not handy. Um, okay. Nearly there. So I'm going to put those four over this side. What do we reckon on this? Nowhere near dry. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to do. Let's do a slight change of plan. Okay. <laughs> we can make it work. We'll just do it slightly differently. Okay. Magnetic platform, clear plate, piece of whisper white cardstock. Let's get the frame <laughs> that I need. I just know when I put the, I'm going to put the, the clear plate down over the top and it's just going to go splodge everywhere and I'll wreck my plate. Okay. I also have a cup of coffee on my right hand side that's going to, I'm going to send that flying in a minute, aren't I? Okay, right. Let's make a card completely black backwards. Right, so let's come back in again with the ink and the stamp. And pop it off to one side. Oh. 
and I'm going to assemble the card and do the glue right at the last minute. So I've got a piece of cardstock that is balmy blue. No, it's not. It's seaside spray. Cut it in half and scored it in half. My beautiful piece of pattern paper, half a centimetre shorter and narrower. So you'd make yours about an eighth of an inch shorter and narrower. And I'm going to put that on there. This sits over the top of this frame. Glue that on there. And I'm going to get my little snowflakes. With the teeniest, tiniest little dab of glue ever. Right in the center. I'm going to have one there and a little one with it. Little one there and a little one there. And just very briefly put that on top. And I'm now going to, again, come back in, but if you can see it, there you go, you can see it shining now. And you, can, you can't see it on camera. I don't even know if I can get close enough, but it glitters. It's just divine. So, do you know what? What I might do, just for speed so you can see it, I'm going to do a Wink of Stella version. And I will bring back in so you can see the one that I did in the beginning. Because what Crystal Effects does is it picks up a little bit of the ink and tints it very slightly. A bit in the way that... Oh, that one popped off. Kind of in the way that Wink of Stella does, but you get the 3D slightly more dimensional look. So, can you see that the colour has tinted very slightly? You can see it on the, this little duo there, but it's all about the dimension. And it's, you can feel it, it's lovely. I wish, I, yeah, I should have done that right at the end. Oh well, you get, I'm gonna put that in the bin because I'm gonna glue myself to something otherwise. It's a shame it's a wasted bit, but, but I think it's charming and I think that <laughs> I don't want to stay. There we go. I think that that is a suite that is just divine. I really am all about the photorealism. I just think it's divine. And anyway, I hope you like it. <laughs> Definitely. Shimmery crystal effects. It's worth it. It's just beautiful on this one. I might put some on there and let it dry. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.